<laughs> so that's what it means to me is that that understanding of the, the musicality and therefore applying that knowledge to everything else that you tackle with that movement vocabulary. The only thing I would add to that, because I keep it down because I bet you we're almost out of time here, is I agree with everything, and I'm so happy to hear people say this, because it's a rampant thing that uh, new dancers, I think, see one or two people that they really like and really admire, and they go, I want to dance just like her. So they will only take her classes, and they, don't, they limit themselves so much because the goal is to dance like yourself with all of these other things added in. And you can't dance like, by, like yourself unless you've done all these things that these other ladies, and I agree. And um, I also want to just add one little thing. There are, of course, many, many styles of belly dance, and they do look different, and they're all guided by music. And the, so that's why it's important to um, study the music. So it doesn't do you any good to study the only Egyptian if you want to also do Turkish. You're going to have to learn some Turkish. If you want to do goth, it's good to learn some of the basics of belly dance so, and then bring in some club moves, you know, and maybe it looks more gothy. And um, Tempest has taught me a lot about that, how to integrate gothic movement from club into a belly dance thing. So that's all I've got to add. Thank you. Thanks okay. Woo. Are we done? Tina, are we uh, ready to go, or should we take one more quick question? It's time. We only have three minutes, so we have to get, you know, it's going to take three minutes to get these chairs off the stage. Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you.